안녕하세요. 저는 루입니다. 안녕하세요. 저는 리나입니다. Okay, so today we're going to do Spinebreaker. I was kind of torn as to what to give Lin for Spinebreaker because I was like, there's the explanation video, but I kind of know what it means. I'm not like a super like expert when it comes to some of the Korean double layered meaning there, but I know enough about it. Um, then I wanted to like have her like see the lyrics. So we've got a lyric video. And then I was like, should we just do the MV? which you guys know is like really cute. But I thought maybe I'll do the making of the MV. So we're going to do the Spinebreaker lyrics video and then we're going to do the MV. But then I also wanted to do a live version. I don't think we're going to get to that in this video. So for now, we're just going to do the lyrics video and the MV. So there we go. Lean doesn't know what I'm talking about. She has no clue. She's like, <laughs> no, I don't. I'm just going to go with the flow. <laughs> Lean is watching the little signal thing in the corner telling her her internet is starting to go up and down. So excuse us if things are choppy. We've been having issues for ages. Yeah, it's Lean's fault. It's all her fault. I'm blaming it her is. for everything. It should be fixed in a week, though. One week. That is when they're coming while well, sending out new equipment. So. Yeah, they're taking forever because it's the Christmas period. So. Yes. And I've just had surgery this last week, so I'm like... For me to sit for long periods is hard, but I'm going to try my best. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if, if I'm wiggling around and looking uncomfortable, it's because I've like, I'm still recovering. So, and if I'm wiggling all around and looking uncomfortable, it's just ADHD. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just lean being lean. <laughs> all righty. Let's get started with spine breaker. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it means at first. You can try and understand, uh, have an idea, and just let me know what you think it means. But you might, okay, you, might you might get it. So, because I think it's like you may, you may not. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Is this got captions? It should. You don't. Yeah, you don't need captions. It's on the actual video. Okay. Okay. I'm already getting that the lyrics are about the way Korea is about owning things it makes you more worthy of a person like the more designer stuff that looking expensive owning good things rather than you as a person like i know that's a very big trend where they literally can't pay the rent but they'll like have a flashy designer jacket and they'll spend all their money on designer because to them that is their worth if you look good that means you are somebody rather than you as a person i'm getting mm. that's what that is fast on the draw lean fast on girl the door. girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far you are you're basically like uh, on target. There's a little bit more to it than that, but yeah, you're like getting it straight away initially. I got okay. the dig with their education system too about how they teach people that the only way to be worthy is to succeed to the point where you're financially up there rather than having a, like a a skill that you're really good at. It's more important that you succeed and become like wealthy. Yeah, than lawyers, it is to doctors, be like, yeah. Kind of Okay. Yeah, I'm getting all of that. <laughs> You're getting it, girl. <laughs> getting it. Okay. What do you think there of the go. beat so far in it? It's really catchy. As soon as it kicked in there, I was like, oh, this is a good <laughs> song. <laughs> it's one of my most favorite songs because like, I cannot sit still when the song plays. Yeah, it's got a very good beat. It's a very dancey beat and a very like, I like it. Da -da -da, okay. It's yeah, okay, cool. Ready? Yes. I 
I really like the bit about them talking about their parents, feel their entitlement that their parents, because they work so hard, they should just buy them everything they want just because their friends have it. They put more importance on material possessions than they do on watching how hard their parents are like struggling to put food on the table. Like, I totally felt that. That is a very, it's not just a Korean thing. I feel like that's a this new generation thing. The yeah. kids are so entitled sometimes. They are, and I see it in Utah as well. And I think that, that um, BTS are also referring to a specific jacket that everybody wanted, like a, in this period where they all wanted this specific designer jacket. And so, like, the jacket was super expensive. Um, you know, it was like a designer label. And so you have, like, they, a lot of the parents are still, are like, working, you know, like, jobs that are maybe more, like, humble jobs, and they have to work twice or three times as hard to get the money to just get their kid that jacket and they sacrifice such a lot just so that the kid can fit in because like also a lot of times like it was mentioning in I think in the explanation video that you have like kids that like are from poorer families but they're, they're they like go to school with richer kids and so they mm-hmm. see there's this pressure that they have to fit in with them and so they like it's the same in their... western culture I remember yeah. that going to high school it's the same it definitely and it's not just that the kids are putting that pressure on their parents the parents put that pressure on themselves by trying to make sure that their kids conform to what everybody else's kids have yeah exactly so um but yeah yeah, you're getting the just about really, really well. So, speedy lean, speedy lean. Yeah. <laughs> See the spine breaker, is that kind of like the Western sentiment of what broke the camel's back? It kind of feels like it's a similar sentiment. It is. It's like basically like your parents have to work harder and harder and like, and you know, like a lot of jobs in Korea is very manual work. So they're bending, picking up, bending, picking up and hip breaking their spine just so that their kids can fit in with you know their their friends um but and i think it like refers more to the kids demanding that as well like expecting their parents to buy them the fancy jacket like if you don't buy that jacket for me then it's unfair and you're not a good parent so it's like that pressure on the the that generation so i just expanded my korean language skills <laughs> which is cool baby <laughs> which is cool baby <laughs> <laughs> so basically bts is like doing something really different here because they're criticizing their audience in a way they're saying be better people do better mm-hmm. for, by your parents you know yeah. they're like not like taking the side of necessarily kids that are are taking advantage of their parents they're like criticizing not just society but they're criticizing the younger generation so that, it's like a very different thing to do and especially in korea is for a band to do that so i think that was that's one of the many reasons why BTS has stood out from all the other K-pop idols because no other K-pop band would ever dare to criticize the audience that's actually listening to them and to say, you know, you've got to live a better life, be a better human, you know, like be considerate, don't be selfish, you know. Mm. Okay, doc. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, yes, I'm local. Is it local? I know they ain't cheap, but they got mochas. But I'm not leading to the woman if you could. I'm too short to play for the night. I'm not going to sit down. I'm not going to sit down. I'm not going to sit down. 
they're kind of having a little dig there at um, kids that are entitled that don't want to work for it themselves, that don't want to earn the cash to do it themselves, and how their their own taste, their own preferences are not their own. They they just follow a trend. They're being sheeple. Yeah. They're like. They're just trying to fit in and do what they assume makes them look good to everyone else without really evaluating why they really need it or putting in the effort to get it for themselves. Exactly. It's very much a, a scolding song. <laughs> <laughs> it is. That's what I was saying. Like you would never, especially even nowadays in 2023, you would never get a K-pop band who would scold their audience. But BTS is like from the get-go, it's like you better be good humans and you better behave yourselves um and like they they're not afraid to even like they they went hard in the song and i yeah. I, I love the fact that they label it dirty clothes because they're like if you can't bother to if you want luxury stuff you should be out there working yourself and getting yeah. a good part-time job get something and also bts at the stage and before the stage were working for a company that was bankrupt. They all had to have part-time jobs. They all had to like work their, like pay for them themselves, work their way up. They were not afraid of hard work. So I think for them, they were like looking at some other people within that generation that maybe weren't doing what they should be doing, you know, in order to help their parents or to succeed or to, you know, help their families out. So. Yeah, I feel like the dirty clothes reference reminds me of dirty money, you know, getting money and means that it's it's not your money to spend. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That's exactly. what the dirty clothes reference feels to me. Exactly. That's exactly what they were meaning by it. I'm on the ball today. You are. <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> I love that. That's my new favorite line, Michelle, baby. <laughs> Yo, Mitchell, the baby. Uh, v, I love his voice in this. It's so deep. He goes to the deepest, deepest depths in the song da, 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 da. he does really well with a chorus in this it's really good okay continuing on Before it gets into whatever it's building to. <laughs> <laughs> I like the references about um, one day you're going to regret it. Because you definitely, when you get to an older age and maturity, you realise how much of your time you wasted on materialistic efforts and doing things. And really not considering your parents or their hard work or anything about their needs or their contribution to your life you're very selfish as young people yeah and I feel that's a universal thing I like how they address it and they're like yeah you think I'm crazy right now and you're looking down on me but as an older guy I'm telling you one day you will wake up and you'll be like I was a selfish spoiled little brat and these yeah. clothes that I spent hundreds of pounds on they mean nothing yeah should have just been a better person Exactly. And I think as we get older, we realize that memories and having good relationships with the people we love is way more important than anything material, like materialistic. So, exactly. you know, what like, blows my mind is that BTS writes all their own songs, lyrics, right? They sat down together and they wrote this showing like it just shows that how different they are from other people of their generation. Like, that, like a message that comes from, because they're teenagers themselves, message that comes from kids or from guys in their early 20s. Yeah, I was just saying, like, the fact that BTS were young themselves and teenagers and kids themselves and they, they had the foresight to write a song like this because this is not something that, like, young boys especially normally would think about. But See, the fact that's that they're I aware of that. I think because they were kids from poorness, that's why they think a lot of poor kids think this way. A lot that's of true. poor kids would have. I reckon it wasn't so much they were unlike other kids. It's that they could relate to kids who were poor, who felt the same pressure. Yeah, and true. 
they were a voice for them rather than a voice for the the middle class or the rich kids. Yeah, although Jin and RM were not as like really poor, but the rest were. So maybe they like sat down and just chatted about it. And, yeah, you know, they probably so. had never even thought of it, and it was probably like an. It's yeah. like maybe for Jin, it was an eye opener because he had never actually had to experience that because his family were well off. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be so interesting it to know how they they just sat down and discussed and came up with the concepts and how that you know it'd be interesting to figure that out. So I still need to yeah. read their book. Okay, I'm sure there's a lot in there. Okay, you do, you do, you do. John Cook's ad lib sounded so good in the background there, his backing vocals. It did. <laughs> it did. They do, uh, they work with their voices fit together really well. And I also love their songs that they have like this that have attitude because um, it comes through in everything yeah. that they do in the music. It's really cool. So what did you think about they that do. song? Like, is that something you could vibe to? <laughs> I guess it's going in the la 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 like list. <laughs> yeah, I really like that one. I like the fact that it is a, a jamming, bopping beat, but it is also a little bit like, Listen to me, you little selfish bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm all for one way attitude. I know exactly. I'm going to play that at full pelt to my teenage children. <laughs> <laughs> Learn something. La 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 la. Spine breaker. Exactly. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I can sing it at them. They'll have no idea that I'm telling them they're crazy. <laughs> Actually, I tell them they're crazy in Korean all the time. Anyway, mucho so. Mucho so. Now I know that it's mucho so, baby. <laughs> okay, so we decided to watch the MV for Spine Breaker. Um, so Lean can just uh, have fun with it and just enjoy it and relax. Now that she knows what it means, we can just watch it and enjoy. Uh, so Lean, they filmed this in the hotel room. Like at some point you can always watch the making of it, but this is kind of just them. This is the result of them using a little handheld cameras and having fun and making up their own choreography. The choreography is Jin's idea, so um, <laughs> it's sitting the chorus, so it's kind of funny. But, yeah, it's uh, basically them just having fun with it. Okay, you ready? Okay. Ready, ready. It's kind of funny that Jen and Jimin are acting like the rich ones. <laughs> yes, it's hilarious. Like that was not like definitely aimed at all. <laughs> I love Jin though. You can just look at him and start laughing. <laughs> He's very comedic. It's nice to also see Sugar being in like a light-hearted mood doing it as well. Yeah, so. he looked like he was having the best time in this video. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
맞춰 야 맞춰 갈 사람들이 지쳐봐 너나잘 사셔니 인생 말여 니가 나면 말안 하겠어 그래 내 팬딩 더 먹여 비싸고 더 먹게 I get f u c k e 와우 기분 좋아 걸쳐보는 너의 dirty clothes 넌 뭔가 다른 rock and roll in swag and swag alone Don't let you wait it Me just a baby 그게 너의 맘을 조여버릴 거야 Dirty clothes 나도 dirty clothes 내가 날 겪어봤겠지 입고 거리로 나가보면 어깨 힙박 들어가고 나보다 작아 보이지 Like Gulliver 멀리 봐도 예해 근데 넌 너무 배가 부른 상태 어째해 후회해 넌 계속 스웩해 너 부모 맘은 배제 그래 말리지 않을게 이제 맘을 정해 Dude, that was funny. That is, that's the kind of production we would film if we were to make an MV. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they think outside the box as well. They're like, oh, let's just have fun with it. Let's just make an MV. And it's like, uh, one, it's like you really... can tell that was like <laughs> random thoughts of what can we film here? I don't know. Just give me all those glasses and film me with glasses on. Oh, wait, wait. Let's all lie on the floor. Like, there was no coherent plot line to that. It was just random. What is funny? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. They're, they're such natural comedians as well that they like pull it off and it, like they do it so well. It's really good. So, yeah, that was funny. I mean, yeah. it, the, when the waves crashing on the opening of the MV just made me think of every early 90s cheesy sitcom <laughs> show every week that we used to watch, like Baywatch. <laughs> I was waiting on the 1980s like script to going across the screen. Oh, it's so funny. And it was kind of funny. The filters that they used in it as well. It was funny. I was laughing. It kind of shows like all of them are funny. Like they yeah. all have like a good sense of humor in that video. It does. Uh, they do <laughs> for sure. Cool. Well, that was funny. Okay. I kind of like that song. I do. That's a very catchy, beaty song, and it's yeah. I like it. I do. I like it a lot. It's very catchy. Um, it's really nice to just vibe to to dance. Like it gets you in a good mood. It's one of those songs like it gets you in a savage mood. So maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's why I like it. <laughs> I always end up like in my car. <laughs> like uh, yeah, I like it because it's got that slight scolding, sarcastic tone to it as well, which I really love. So I love BTS when they do that saltiness. So it, it always works well. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's going on the la 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 light class. La 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 light. Cool. So, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're going to continue reacting today together. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed that. And uh, uh, yeah, going on the la 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 light list. And we'll chat to you guys soon. And happy New Year because it's New Year's Eve. It so. is. We're doing this on New Year's Eve, so because we have no Bye. life. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.